Hi folks, we're coming to you from the floor of the EMS Expo today. I'm in the Medi booth with Greg Wright. Greg's going to talk to us and tell us a little bit about Stan, the simulator. How did y'all come up with Stan? Um, basically about 10 years ago the company was formed. Uh, we bought the technology from the University of Florida Gainesville which had mapped physiology. Mm -hmm. All of our simulators have the physiology hardwired into them, so you have a realistic patient that will respond mechanically or pharmacologically to what you do. Can you show us some of the things that we can do, and, and, and where is this applicable? Who's using uh, these simulators? Pretty much any healthcare provider from you know experienced clinicians to students, med schools, nursing schools, hospitals, EMS, uh, air trauma transport, anybody. Okay. I noticed um, that Stan is blinking and he's breathing. Uh, can you show us a little bit about what all he can do? Sure. Stan actually has heart sounds, lung sounds, bowel sounds, so that you can assess the patient mm -hmm. for his clinical uh, presentation. He can, cry, he can secrete fluids from his eyes, from his mouth, from his ears, if he's exposed to anything. Mm -hmm. He also has the ability to be catheterized. You can also do IV inputs with him. You can okay. get flashback with him when you, uh, when you do start an IV. Uh, he, can also, he also has his pulse points in all the normal locations that you and I have. So he's built for either skills assessment or team-based training if you're talking about a whole patient simulation where you can take a patient presenting and then hands-offs from first responders, first receivers, and then basically your mission from hospital to dis uh, discharge. Okay. Now I also see that Stan has uh, some family members yes. around here. You have, I guess this is the adult this size. This is the adult size. Then... This is Dylan, who's our six-year-old, and then right. Ryan, our six-month-old baby. Okay. And uh, I know that uh, one of our customers has put these in the back of their ambulances mm -hmm. to, uh, I suppose, certify their medics. Do you see that uh, occurring a lot with your simulators? Yes, we see that a lot, that people are embracing simulation because they're able to do the medical consequence management of patient care instead of just doing it on paper or written kind of a transcript or looking at individual components such as only working with the airway or only working with the heart or only working with you know, a limb or something like that. So you have a full gamut of, uh, of uh, patient simulation that you can do that we're finding people are embracing. And what's, uh, what's coming next for Medi? Well, one thing that we have with Stan is that uh, we did have approval for uh, making him make a tetherless mannequin. It's one thing that we've been working on so that he's fully self-contained, so you won't have all the wires and everything like that, so you'll be able to have it a little bit more portable. Um, but pretty much that's a you know, while down the road. So. Okay. Well, fantastic. Well, I appreciate you sharing some information. Oh, Thanks so welcome. much. Thank you. All right.